Hey everybody, this is Dave from My Tech Man Cave, and today I'm going to show you the Sling Player app uh, for Google TV. And uh, the first thing you want to do is when you turn your TV on is to go to the App Store, uh, you know, located here, and click, and go to Sony Spotlight. Um, Sony Spotlight or Logitech Spotlight, both called Spotlight. If you, this is a Sony Google TV, so uh, it opens up Spotlight and there's a whole bunch of apps here opt optimize uh, websites uh, and if you go to TV and movie and you scroll down to sling player um, it now shows up there in spotlight so you you open it up uh, it will load it the first time is a little bit longer and then it asks you for your username and password um, so I'm just gonna put my password in and log in. Now you already have to have your sling player set up uh, for this. Sorry. And I have a sling player solo uh, hooked up to my cable box and I also have my cable box hooked up to my Google TV so this app is really not for me. Um, if I took my Google TV and say put it up in the bedroom and I got a new TV uh, and put it down here that's not a Google TV I pretty much can watch TV connect it this the TV downstairs that's not Google TV with my cable box and then I can sling my cable box to my Google TV that's not even hooked up uh, to the cable box so that would be a good thing uh, or you can have two Google TVs one here and one upstairs and over Wi-Fi you can stream right to the app uh, that's on your Google TV. So basically that's what this app is for. So now once you're on uh, it tells you you can use the question mark uh, and the question mark will bring up uh, a whole bunch of um, uh, quick keys and these quick keys are pretty much to access uh, things quickly like the program guide, the menu, live TV, page up, list, record, info, page down, pause, exit, last, play and stop. Um, and on, also you can use the space bar and if you hit the space bar it gives you the controls sort of like when you, you the ones you find on an iPhone app or the Android app uh, or iPad app um, and pretty much is uh, the menu shows you that you can use the uh, DVR uh, buttons you can use your keypad uh, your keypad and your uh, arrow pad um, and basically access pretty much anything also you have miscellaneous and you can also configure um, different shortcuts uh, to use uh, basically it pretty much you know makes your be able to use the remote uh, that you came with your cable box it has every button that you could think of uh, the other important thing is if you want to get a shortcut to this in your apps draw uh, the best thing to do is to uh, pretty much hit the star button or the favorites button on your Logitech or Sony keyboard and this uh, star button is here uh, it's right here and it's a favorites button and you hit it and you can add it to the, your bookmarks uh, for your internet or you can add it to your home screen and that's pretty much the app store and it automatically saves it right to your app store so now it added it so now when you go into your app store you basically will have a shortcut for your sling box um, here sling player and then you can get easy access to it instead of going into spotlight and if you want your uh, sling player shortcut to be in on your home screen and not just in your app store you can pretty much uh, hit the home button uh, then hit the menu button and then scroll to uh, customize home items and uh, you'll see it all highlighted in dotted lines go to the area where you want the uh, sling player app to go and hit replace uh, hit replace you scroll down uh, all of those shortcuts and apps that you have installed in your app store show up here and you can go and pick your sling player shortcut 
and there it is it shows up right there in your shortcut so now if you have it configured on a, another TV upstairs on a Google TV upstairs or away from your cable box you pretty much can have a sling player uh, you know startup icon instead of using the TV icon like you do if you have a cable box or some sort of inputted device hooked up directly all the time so basically that's uh, sling player and uh, I just wanted to give you guys a, a first sort of look on it, um, tell you a little bit about it, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it uh, has some uses for you, and uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe to me, and anything new that comes out for Google TV or um, iOS or Android, I pretty much will give you some videos. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you around. Thank you. Bye.